Kepler in the hospital tonight after they crawled out of the wreckage of this plane. Yeah, this crash happened in an open field in Buckeye. We want to take you now live to 3TV's Jeff Van Sant. Jeff, do we know why this plane went down? You know, it's so early on in the investigation, uh, we're not really sure how this could have happened, but we do know that the plane took off from Las Vegas earlier today and was headed to here in Goodyear, but ended up in a field in Buckeye. And we were there as the two people were taken out of the, out of the plane and then taken to the hospital by helicopter. About 4.30 this afternoon, we received the 911 call of a plane that had gone down found uh, two individuals. They were alive. They were speaking. They were talking to us. Buckeye police and fire get on scene quickly to the downed aircraft. You never know what to expect with a crash like this. There's environmental concerns with fuel leakage, you know, uh, injured persons. Was anything else struck with it? They find two people crawling from the wreckage of this two-seater plane. Their injuries called for an immediate medevac. The FAA says the plane is a Chinese-built CJ-6, a single-engine aircraft produced in the 1960s. The two on board flew from Las Vegas heading to Goodyear, but crashed in Buckeye near Desert Springs and Sun Valley Parkway in a construction site. No one else besides those on board were injured. I'm just glad they're still alive. So an investigation like this could take time. So coming up at 10 o'clock, we're going to look at how investigators will approach a crash like this. And we do know the FAA and NTSB will be on scene tomorrow. Guys, back to you.